Hey, I don't know if you're saving up that crystal for personal consumption or because it looks pretty, but you need to sell some of it before they can make any more. You get me? Okay, good. LJT out. Hmm. Hello there, buddy. LJT sounds grumpy. <laughs> we better get those MC businesses emptied. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. I am the Missing Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online Laid Back Grinding. So another long-awaited episode of Laid Back Grinding. Let's have a look in the club here. Oh, yes. He's got his lightsabers out today. I feel like we're really close now. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you feel like that. <laughs> uh, Laszlo. Well, he does add to the atmosphere. I don't mind. Obviously, we haven't kicked him out yet. <laughs> hey. All right, guys, should we try for the key flam shirt one more time before we get started? I think so. Uh, let's see, let's start uh, Let's start with the Richards. Yeah, I feel like it prepares me for the uh, Macbeth. <laughs> yep, yeah, something rough first and then the rest tastes better. <laughs> All right, to you guys, woo. All right. We'll let her put it away. Oh, that's kicking in. He's feeling better. Drink there, boss. Yep, we're going for the big one. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> all right. This one's to all of us. Me and you guys. Doing it together. Yeah. At least for a few seconds after. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> all right. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we'll try the second one another time. <laughs> My guy's walking right. Let's get back to the office. We can do it. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, look away, everybody. Uh, oh, this is the first time I've ever had that happen. <laughs> Usually it never happens to me. <laughs> Uh, except for every time, but that's okay. Keeflam, Keep I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't get the shirt. <laughs> I'm not trying too hard, I'm just trying for the fun of it. But yeah, I have tried a bunch of times, but nothing yet. Okay, where's your tip button? Did I miss it? How's it going? Uh, I was gonna tip him to keep this between us, but I guess I've already given him too much. <laughs> he doesn't want to take my money anymore. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, let's get started on some laid back grinding. So these are also um, unofficially, as I said before, a day in the life, uh, unofficially how I make my money. So um, although I do tend to back up everything a little bit and I don't necessarily recommend that, it's much better to keep things flowing. You know, um, you have your other MC businesses uh, producing while you're while you're doing a sell mission for the others, you know, and, and so forth. So you keep it all in a nice even circle as best as you can. But I like to back it up a little bit so we have plenty to do. Plenty to do when we get together for these. Yeah. Now my crate warehouse, I have been added some uh, crates to it, but but it's still not ready to go. Yeah, I, I slowed those down. The crate warehouse has kind of changed a while back. It used to be that you could take your time with them, and as long as you didn't fill them, um, so you have uh, I think it's 111, 112. I think it's 111 crates in the large warehouse, and as long as you had 110, you would never get raided, and you wouldn't have to worry about it until you're ready. You would just get that final crate, and then away you would go to sell. But then Rockstar changed it a long time back where now you can get raided, I believe, anytime over uh, the halfway mark. So that's kind of annoying. So that's kind of slowed me down. Unless I'm in the mood for doing them, I kind of uh, slowly fill them up to the halfway point and then I hurry the halfway, like from 50 to 100%, I kind of hurry that part along. Let's have to get my safe here. Yeah, so I think there might be a nightclub cell mission ready for us. So we'll run one of those. And then I've got a whole bunch of MC, MC cell missions to do, so we should probably do those. And maybe we'll drop by the uh, bunker and do a quick sell there too. Yeah. Hey, Tony. What are you up to? Shopping? Hey, partner. Hey, partner. <laughs> I'm going to go do the work for us, partner. <laughs> you stay cozy in the chair there. Don't, don't work too hard. <laughs> Yeah, so thanks for being here, everybody. Hello to all new subscribers. Hello to all old subscribers. And uh, all our Patreon fans, thanks for being here, everybody. So, let's see here. Um, I'm already in the company. Yeah. 
think we're ready to go, right? We're ready to go. Let's launch it. Although I'll change my DJ first. So there's the uh, little block of missing popularity. Just go over here. Who's next? Uh, Solomon. Confirm. All right. And just to show you guys, I, I would usually just go to the cell mission from there. But you have to reload the screen to get it to show you. And now it's all full. Yeah. As I said before, I, find, I feel like I pocket at least 40% of the cash. Maybe even 60% of the cash. So out of 100,000, 40,000 to 60,000. Not bad. And the rest of it I just put into rebooking the uh, the uh, DJs just to keep the popularity up. And, and the 10,000's coming in. And then it keeps the bar happening and the drinks available and all kinds of stuff that kind of disappear if you become unpopular. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got for special orders. Albaros import exports for 86,000 and Amero European partners for 151,000. Hmm. Hmm. So here's the nightclub selling, and you can also sell these. So I could just sell all of these for 60,000, 170,000, um, 250,000 for my sporting goods, which is, uh, I think, bunker guns and ammo. Um, and then down here, as we've covered before in our other episodes, these are the special orders. Now they don't explain it to you, but hidden in the price, there is a 10% bonus. So even though you see the amount and, um, uh, Tony takes his cut as usual, you're actually getting a hidden 10% bonus that's, that's in the numbers. It's kind of complicated though, because different things all have different values. But if you do the math of what the values are, you'll see that there's, is a bit of a bonus in there. So most people recommend doing these uh, special orders wherever possible. And you can also sell all goods. Right now it's for 1057000 Now it's tempting to do that. But if you sell all goods, they recommend holding it up for, uh, you know, uh, Tony's cut doesn't come up, doesn't come off until uh, uh, over, <laughs> it stops coming off at a million dollars. So he'll make uh, 10000 on every 100000 all the way up to a million dollars. And then the rest he won't take a cut from. So if you sell it for 1.4 or the maximum 1.6, you save a little bit of money on his cut doing it that way. I kind of sell whatever's available, and I usually keep it to the higher higher value ones. But 151,000 is not bad. These ones I can get again quickly. Yeah, sounds like a good way to start. And it should give us the van too. Oh, maybe I'll cancel that for a second. So some people wonder about the uh, cell vehicles. It can be uh, said pretty quickly. Um, I believe the uh, van takes up to about 90 or 91, 90 um, um, cargo units. So that you would just quickly add this up. And uh, um, then from there it becomes the mule, if you have one. The custom mule. And uh, I don't have my notes here, but the MTL Pounder, I believe, is 180 above. Yeah. So it kind of gives you a rough idea of, of what, you, what vehicle will be used for which cell missions. So it should give me the van, I'm pretty sure, for this one. Away we go, everybody. Away we go. What does Tony have for us today? All right, all right. Sale time. Yeah. This buyer's being a little sketchy. Doesn't want to give us too much information. Head out to that general area, and more details will be forthcoming. Hmm, I think we've talked about this one before. <laughs> How odd it is that they would send out the big boss man on such a unknown job. Could be anybody waiting there. Could be an assassination, an ambush, the cops. But I, the owner, have to get sent out there. We have no thugs to go out there and do it for us. <laughs> if I, if you ask me, it should be the way it should be done when you got the money to. Yep. And so six and a half clicks away. Not a short drive, but not a long one. Have my AP pistol ready. Oh, I missed the turn there. Uh, I could back up. I think I can get around this way. We'll just do a completely legal U-turn on the highway. <laughs> nobody cares when you do that, right? No, uh, nobody minds that. <laughs> Excuse me. Go away. Nightclub management. Important nightclub business. <laughs> Studio Los Santos is in need of more money. Always. <laughs> More vehicles. Yeah. Thinking about getting some other vehicles, some old classics that have been in the game since the launch. And um, some um, some newer vehicles. Not new new, but uh, newer. I think Smuggler's Run and, and Doomsday area vehicles. Yeah. And of course we still have to get the oppressor. I feel so guilty about that, not having an oppressor. So I know you guys are going to see a lot of moments where you should have an oppressor. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. I know, I didn't mean to not have one. 
I had a plan to have one a couple times, but I don't know, life got in the way. Sometimes things happen together and that's what happened to me this time around, you know. Um, life gets in the way for a few days and then and then uh, good life gets in the way, you know. Like I had some visitors and uh, that I haven't seen and usually they're the kind of visitors I only see once in a while, maybe once a year kind of thing. So I didn't want to cancel, you know, because you barely see them. But uh, it always happens at the end, so you end up with this whole bunch of days that you didn't mean to put off. And, uh, and I never got those missions done and get our impressive bike. But that's okay. Goals. Goals for the future. So this one, this part here, we can go down the highway. If you're driving along there so many times, I know you can just take that shortcut right here and trim a couple seconds off. Go right across here. Come into the area over in uh, uh, Sandy Shores. Yeah, I usually turn off my top-mounted machine gun when I'm not using it, just because it scares people and they tend to drive crazy and they crash into you. And I think you can even get police called on you potentially just for driving around pointing it at them. You there? Yep. Right. This guy, he's around here somewhere. Two seconds. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's in a yellow, maybe an orange Camacho. Start looking, and I'll see if I can get an exact location on this end. I think I did do this one. I think it was the exact same spot. We'll see. I think it was, was it over here somewhere? Maybe. Hmm. Can't remember. Bunch of missions I've done in this area. Mm -mm. Yeah, it might be hard to find it in cinematic camera. Orange Camacho. There it is. Hey man. Do the bang bang bang. <laughs> Enjoy. Take care of it. Yeah. Can I drive yours? No, of course not. Fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll take the havoc away. Although I could take the buzzard or call in my Kula or something. Kula? Or the hunter? Hunter's on sale this week too. And then uh, do a headhunter mission. I'd usually do one of those too. They're fun little fast missions in the city. All right, so there we go. Beginning to our money, 136,620. Hmm. Great, money. okay, looks like you're done here. I will fiddle the accounts and send you the money. Just another day in the life of nightclub maven, Tony Prince. <laughs> Right, nightclub management. <laughs> yeah, life of the party ain't easy. <laughs> Takes lots of work, money, and illicit goods. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm kind of cutting it close there, maybe bouncing it off there, but I knew I could take it. And we're going to be leaving this helicopter behind soon. So I think I'm going to go over to the bunker, and we'll do a quick little sell over there. And then we'll start getting that uh, restocked. Just because it sent me out of town, so might as well come over into town this way. Drop by the bunker, make some more money. Hopefully a nice quick mission, but we'll see. We'll see what Agent 14 gives us today. Hopefully something good. Devin Weston's house there. Yeah, so I wonder what's going to happen for the future. I think we're still going to get more DLC before it's done. Maybe even more DLC in general. But uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be for the holidays or after the holidays. I'm starting to think after the holidays, probably. But a little while ago, I was thinking towards the end of the year. Oh, 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 come on. No. <laughs> there we go. The Havoc is dangerous that way. The one thing about it. 
It has a tendency to run off if it, if it starts to tilt. And uh, it will get you. And you'll be tempted to, to uh, skate, to jump out, but then usually those rotors just cut you right up, so you don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, let's head underground. I'm gonna have some coffee. So don't mind me. All right, so there we go. In the bunker. All right, let's make some money. And then we'll go off and do the, bu the biker missions, which this week is uh, double money for that, so. We're going to go make some good money with those. But we're here at the bunker now. And we've talked about before in our how to, uh, for the newcomers, how to make money in a bunker. So you might want to check that out. I think it's 175 perhaps. I think something like that. Yeah, episode 175. But yeah, basically there's different levels for different people. As a solo player, you want to keep your value, the value in the bottom right corner, under 175,000. And then it gives you one single vehicle. Yeah. Unless you have friends to help you. Now I find it even easier, personally, this is what I do, is, is I order in just one supplies, like I'm going to right now. So I'll buy supplies, so it's already on the way, 75,000, and then sell stock. And that's the previous 75,000 from the last time I was here, and now it's ready. I always sell to the city for 210,000, unless there's any bonuses. So it's kind of supplies in, supplies out, and by doing it that way I only have to visit the bunker once. I don't have to visit it for supplies and for selling it as two different visits, being that I have all these other businesses. Okay, we need you to take this route to the buyers. Ah, the cops hey. will be trying to intervene, so we've allocated a big rig with mm -hmm. scoop on the front to keep them off. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Agent 14. <laughs> all right. We are away. Yes, the Phantom Wedge. So, nice, good, easy mission, usually. Straightforward, whether people attack you or not. I think it's usually the police. Okay. Oh, watch out for things like that. Though. But if it comes, come off, it does come off, yeah, see, I just recollect it. Recollected it, just like that. And if you do total your package, it usually respawns again on the road. And then you just have to pick it up, which can be a pain while the police are shooting at you, but you don't have to worry that it's gone or anything. Now, I would destroy more of these guys, but you do have to be careful. This truck does eventually take enough damage that it puts you in some danger if you go around smashing every cop car you can. So I generally don't recommend that, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> But it's not as strong as you wish it would be. It can handle it though, I wouldn't worry about it, but if you're on purposely plowing everything, you know, by the time you're done it will definitely be smoking, usually. And to me that's cutting it a little too close, because you never know when you're going to need that extra bit of strength, that extra few minutes when you get stuck somewhere and run into some kind of unforeseen problem. Coming through! Guns and ammunition. Get your guns and ammunition there. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's gonna land on wheels? No. Oh. Well, usually, that's a first on that corner. Oh, where are we? Which way is it? That way. Okay, let's quickly get it before the police start shooting us up. Right up. Go. Let's go. We are away. <laughs> now I could drive a little slower, and uh, that would help quite a lot. <laughs> that would uh, give you better handling and all that kind of stuff. So sometimes I'm going a little faster than I probably should be. Is it this? Oh, and then I make mistakes like that because I got confused which way to go. Uh, split second too late. But it worked out. Yeah, so I definitely recommend the bunkers. They're a great way of making money. An easier way of making money. Looks like we're going all the way across the bridge today. Normally I'm going to the, uh, uh, the, uh, to 
would be the industrial area near the docks, where, where you bring the simian scars, things like that. And other times down there, down below us right there near the airport. Coming through. <laughs> yeah, bad day for them. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yeah, guns and ammunition. Where does it all come from in Los Angeles? Well, I think we might know. <laughs> There we go. And I always wonder that why this cargo bot just can't come earlier, but it doesn't. Excuse me, I had to cough there. Delivered. The weapon shipments were delivered. Yes, they were. Although, it is good to uh, get all the bonuses. If you're the kind of player that doesn't mind doing it around other players, it usually pays off pretty well. Maybe we will do one quick head under before we switch to bikers. Sometimes it can be a pain getting them in, in between all these uh, cargo cargo crates and everything. All these containers, shipping containers. Switch to different aircraft in a minute. Hmm. Yeah. We'll call it in while we're near the by the area. Yeah, cool out, sure. Should show up down there in the ravine. Very cool stealth helicopter. When you're inside and you're in stealth mode, you're actually off the map. Everybody inside too, seats four. And it works for uh, different people. So if you had four different CEOs inside this helicopter that were your friends, um, they'd all be hidden off the radar, even with the, uh, the cargo that they're carrying and everything. It's pretty cool that way, especially for team play. And it's a very capable, uh, very maneuverable helicopter on top of that. Experience. We can get them just on the edge, right around here. And right there. Package. Prison for him. There we go. We assassinated a target. <laughs> Where are these last two? There, there. Okay. So we'll get this guy first. We could go stealth. See, now we're stealth. And on the map, my guy's flashing. And I don't think anybody should be able to see me if they were there. Then you can come out of it and my weapons become available again and uh, I'd be on the map again. So you can't fire any weapons when you're in stealth mode. But you can go in and out of stealth mode pretty easily. And it has a bomb bay too. Just for making sure <laughs> when you pass over. If you get the pattern right, it can be quite deadly to fire a bunch of missiles at somebody and uh, and then open your bomb bay and pass over with a whole bunch of bombs. It's a 
the time array that can become a whole bunch of explosions all at once. This guy's hiding right near the pool. At that hotel over there, right there. He gets a present too. Yay. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> to all of you out there enjoying Thanksgiving. <laughs> so now we delivered those presents for those people. <laughs> Now let's see, uh, now we should go off and do, let's see, how much should we do? We should probably do some money. Cocaine? Cocaine's the big money. Or the counterfeit cash. Hmm. We'll try cocaine. Could do a car, a CEO car as well. I was thinking about that. Could even change cars just to show you guys that it still works. The top range only method that we use. I think it was in episode 185. remember because I've had to quote it a bunch of times <laughs> but it works really well and every now and again I change cars just to make sure oh yeah time to retire all right everybody in here should be ready for us they are value of 560 dollars our supplies have arrived at the bunker excellent Now that value, like, um, you know, for those that are new, though those values are deceiving. That's just the general value. You can get bonuses by other bonuses, by other people being in the session or uh, or by selling to the uh, to the far sell. Yeah. So you can sell stock and then it would be a close location or a far away location. And we always do the far away location, make the more money. I think it's an extra 50%, I believe. 840,000, that's normally 420,000 because of the double money event just this week. But those events come and go, so. You can always watch on our news channel for the GTO news and see which ones are that week. Try You're to get uh, bikers, right? Because the buyer wants the product biked into the back of a truck. And yeah, it's good to go when you are. All right, well, bikers aren't bad. It's not my favorite mission, but it's not the worst. The worst would be the post-op truck mission. That one cannot be done solo because it's so slow. And so that's my most hated one, I guess. <laughs> Not big on the Dodo seaplanes either. I, I I do it just fine. I've I've succeeded, but like many times. But I find it's a very slow mission. You know, you're it's usually about uh, I don't know 25, 28 mission minutes these days. So it's a uh, it's a pretty tight mission when you're doing it all on your own for a full full three uh, Dodo seaplanes. Yeah. So it's not my favorite one. And off and on in the past, it's had a glitch where one of your planes would move and then it would get to, it would destroy itself. So that was kind of a pain too. That happened to me a couple times, but not since, not recently. But basically something would go wrong when you were away from your selling vehicles. But this one's the Western Bagger. The closest you get to a biker cell mission, really, <laughs> in many ways, for a solo player anyway. It's not a very bikerish with cell missions, really. So I try to do uh, wheelies as much as possible, as you can tell, it goes much faster. Yep. As you bump along, you just kind of skirt your way along faster than it would normally go. And it helps to hit any kind of bumps too, like uh, manholes and things like that. Those kind of bumps can help to uh, lean the bike back. Certain bikes like this don't wheelie very easily. So certain bumps like that, like here, it can be hard to get my wheel off the ground because there's no bumps or anything to do it. Yeah. You can always lean forward, but it's actually faster to do what we were talking about, leaning back. It takes a little bit to get the hang of it, though, so you're not crashing all the time. <laughs> but across four different bikes, you know, it does save you a few seconds, you know, across it. I don't know how much it would save, but I'd like to think a minute or two, maybe across uh, four different bikes anyway. And I forgot to put our cooler away. I usually put it away. Oh well. That's okay. I'll call that bike in just so I can replace it with an aircraft in a minute or two. <laughs> a 
Aquila, Aquila, I'm not sure. I guess it depends on who you ask. I think it means shark in a lot of Baltic uh, languages. Yep. How far away did you put it? Uh, close, but not close enough. Hmm. Hmm. There's usually like a dirt bike or something like that around there, or a van. Oh, I went the wrong way. Over there, there's a dirt bike and a van and stuff. You and the hover. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, there's many ways, but this will do. This will do. And that's one of my complaints about the personal aircraft. I really drives me nuts that you can't have your personal vehicle and your personal aircraft at the same time. Or even just for, you know, five minutes or something. So it gave you time to cross over, you know, between them. But otherwise you cannot have your fancy car beside your fancy aircraft. Which I think is kind of dumb. And there's no parking spot inside your hangar either, so you can't do it that way either. <laughs> They just really give us a hanger in Perkins by too. Up, up and away. Yeah, so I'm just kind of taking it easy. Laid back grinding. Yep. Sometimes I fly the pyro for some extra speed. The oppressor is actually the fastest way right now, I do believe. But that's because it has that uh, backward speed speed glitch. So you kind of fly backwards and up and down and get the right rhythm and, and you uh, get up to speed. Um, the Deluxo, the DeLorean that just came out a little while ago as part of uh, the uh, Doomsday Heist, it also had pretty much the exact same glitch, almost. But it didn't take long for Rockstar to fix it. So, I'm imagining that the Oppressor 2 will also get that fix applied to it. But it's kind of surprising it hasn't been applied already. So, part of the reason to get an Oppressor very useful and uh, quick, apparently, too, for that moment. But even when they fix that, it'll still be very useful for moments like these, where you're going around or helping other other people or doing it all solo and getting a whole bunch of uh, vehicles all at once. Well, not at once, but you know what I mean. Doing it yourself. <laughs> all at once. And that's when it's good to have something to come back and forth with. The quicker the better. We're gonna put that away anyway. Club return vehicle to storage. Uh, let's get this one. All right, four, four, yeah, almost four and a half clicks or so. So this one shouldn't take too long. Yeah, so you just drop it off in the back of the truck that you seen earlier in the uh, construction yard. The quarry, I think it is. And there's other trucks around the map. You do have to watch out for the variation of this mission where it's a police sting. And uh, you'll know because they're usually a really long drive at first. I think it's like usually like 12 clicks. Not sure how many miles that would be. But a long trip compared to normal ones. It's usually on the far side of the map kind of idea. And when you get there, you'll if you take your time, you'll see a lot of guys standing around and undercover police cars hanging out. Yep, so you want to watch out for that one. But usually it's done, just call Lester and, and uh, go to the, to the, uh, the secondary uh, drop-off location and then it's pretty much the same mission from there. You bring all the uh, bikes to the, the secondary drop and you're done. Now that said, I do tell people to make sure you kill the undercover police car. There's a certain undercover police car that comes after you. And if you call Lester, uh, it doesn't care. <laughs> He'll chase, they'll chase you across the map, so. which has happened to me many times. So when that sting happens, I try to see that undercover car that comes at me, and I try to make sure I take it out, and then uh, have Lester call off the cops. But otherwise, this is kind of like the normal version of this mission, with the bagger, western bagger bikes. Where it's just four trucks around the map, and you just gotta bring your way around it. Yeah. Oh, 
little shortcut right over here anyway. I've been through there a couple times, so be careful off-roading. <laughs> but there's no rivers in that spot, so we're all right. Oh. Normally I would have called it in already. Let's let's try the Avenger. And uh, we'll call it our Gargoyle. This is where I could use that oppressor. <laughs> break. <laughs> Here we go. Return my bike, and we'll avenge her away back over there this time for bike number three. Up, up and away, Avenger. Let's go. Here we go. It's <laughs> the one thing about the Avenger. It's a very slow takeoff. It's actually a pretty quick plane. But the way it moves and the way it takes off, it makes it feel slow. <laughs> I suppose it is at certain moments, but it feels worse than it actually is, I think. Yeah, that takeoff likes to delay. Back to Los Santos. Back to Morningwood. <laughs> uh, gotta love the neighborhood names. Yeah. Lots of thought went into that. <laughs> Laying the gears out. And now we're gonna switch over to hover mode. A little too late by the looks of it. That's okay, we'll just kind of rotate down and around. Back on bike number three. Come on, Western Baker. Let's go. Oh, he wants us to go this way. Yeah, a little while ago, uh, I don't know, a month or two ago, Rockstar uh, updated it and uh, changed our GPS. For those of you who remember that or have noticed, but and it's it's a much better GPS. I'll have to agree. But it's much much better. But just like the old GPS, it has the odd problem, the odd way where you're like, yeah, I really don't want to go that way. <laughs> I don't think that's a good suggestion. Yeah. Like when you're in the MTL Pounder, the big truck for the, uh, for the nightclub, and it sends you down, you know, dirt trails, stuff like that. But all in all, it's a much better GPS, I think. But some of my cell missions that I've been doing for a while, you know, I just notice here and there that I'm on a whole different way than I normally go for a moment or two, I suppose. Not for the whole way. So, almost six and a half clicks, so we're probably going way up north for this one. Part way up, anyway. Probably just past the military base somewhere. Riding into the night. Yep, into the night. Base. 
where our hangar is located, Fort Zancudo. Zancudo. And our doomsday facility is just down there too, in the swamp. Yeah, and we've started our Red Dead Redemption series, for those of you that don't know that. Uh, only a couple episodes in, so i got to get some more done on that. Upload episode 3, 4, and 5. Yeah. Now that we're past the beginning, it opens up. That so far is a great game. And to me, they're not necessarily really competing games, you know. Like, we've talked before about that, but some things are different flavors, different moods. And they don't really compete necessarily. You know, like, say, Counter-Strike and uh, Call of Duty and Battlefield, they're more competing games, you know, in a sense, for the same audience. But some games are the same audience, but different uh, moods for that audience, you know. Not, not fighting for the gamer's same time, I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> there's a time for their games like that, and there's a time for games like this. Yeah, I said that to people before, like, I, even though I love Red Dead so far, and I think I'm going to love it even more as I go along, but at the same time it doesn't replace things like, you know, jet fighters and motorbikes and uh, hot rods and uh, exotic cars and, you know, that, that itch just can't be scratched by Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> I don't think it ever will. <laughs> Hey, hey, I was being nice. I was being nice. Yeah, it was your fault. Okay, let you be. <laughs> but that second hit almost got him dead. He didn't know. He just hit a criminal kingpin. <laughs> An underworld leader. <laughs> and he lived. And he never even knew how close he was. <laughs> Alright, so we're approaching. I'm calling my Avenger again, I guess. And then we can just take our bike again. I've learned to go slow, because in the earlier episodes I'd always nail my head off the top. <laughs> Coming in on those fast. And, ah, gargoyle. Yeah. And coffee. from here before. Picked it up on the beach a few times. It's kind of like parked in the parking spot. <laughs> Alright, heading back for bike number four. Not too bad either. You know, 13 minutes just over on the clock. And we've just got the last one to go. And after we finish the last vehicle, you don't have to go all the way back like I am. So... We just have to take one more trip out, and then it's done. As we've talked about in our other ones, you know, the first three vehicles you have, or first vehicles, if uh, you know, other missions only give you three, this one has four. But the first vehicles, you have to go back and forth and back and forth when you're alone, when you're a solo player. But the last trip is only half the time, because you just have to go, and then you're done. No coming back. That's part of the timer, anyway. You know what I mean, I, I think. <laughs> Got a bit of a haze in the sky tonight. The uh, moon is out of focus. Usually I can see it nice and clearly, but tonight it's, yeah, a little bit of fog. Stay on target. All right. Yeah, I do like my Avenger. It's expensive, uh, but it is worth it, in my opinion. The amount I use it for situations where, where nothing else spawns close by. And it's tough, too. Very tough. As far as taking punishment goes. And you can literally ram a whole lot of other adversaries if you do it right, and uh, win in, a, in an uh, Avenger. So They're not as vulnerable as you might feel when you're solo. 
I wouldn't suggest attacking people in it necessarily <laughs> as a solo player, but it's uh, it's a lot more defended than you might think it is. Yeah. Said so just ramming alone will destroy a lot of other vehicles. Well, I guess we'll go to that same parking parking spot as last time. Yeah, and keep those repair guys busy in Los Santos. Services, return to storage just so it's ready for us next time. And away we go. Last cocaine filled Western beggar. Looks like we're going back up the highway again. So generally on these missions, you know, the only thing you have to watch out for is that the vehicle doesn't get blown up. That it doesn't get stuck anywhere that you can't get to. Because the vehicles are, they're not like normal vehicles, they will blow up fast. So you only have so much time to save them if they get stuck somewhere. So watch out for that. And of course obvious things like people blowing them up or you blowing them up by accident. Things like that. So you have to watch out for things like that. But other than that, it's pretty forgiving. You can die and just pick up the bike and keep going, you know. It doesn't uh, penalty you for that or anything. As long as you're done in the timer, you're okay. So in general, as long as no nobody's attacking me or anything, the main worry to me is uh, water. It is uh, the beach over there and rivers. They're the they're the, the bike killers and stuff like that, so. You know, those odd times where you might fly off the road by accident and hit a rock and then you're flying off into the river. And that's... That's the danger times. But generally speaking, outside of that, it's a nice easy mission. Yeah, this one's just out back of this plaza. Uh, get through the water. <laughs> uh, I just talked about not getting stuck, but we'll see. Let's do it. Or, yeah. <laughs> of course we can get through the walkway. Start Avenger again. And then we're going to leave our MC to hopefully avoid any raids happening. As soon as we can. There we go. Now we're no longer part of our MC. And being that I have all my stuff backed up, it's a good idea to do that. And as long as you don't have friends with you or anything like that, you're worried about them getting paid or anything. But I don't think uh, bikers get really paid much per hour, or per 10 minutes, or whatever it is, as much as uh, bodyguards do anyway. Up, up, and away. Where is he? <laughs> How's it going? Not juicing? Wow. I thought you were a winner! I'm a winner. I've just been busy. <laughs> I'm a winner. <laughs> oh, Brucey, Brucey, Brucey. Yeah. Oh, there's Brucey for you. Yeah, Purple Rain. <laughs> I know you've been waiting for him. He still calls me. He always calls Brucey. He always finds my numbers. He never never sleeps <laughs> but you know he wants the greater of humanity genetically uh, superior of course right he's trying to help so <laughs> we just don't listen I don't listen <laughs> okay so hmm will we keep our Avenger yeah, that's good enough I was gonna switch over to my helicopter well we could switch over to the helicopter I guess so we're right over here anyway Turn around on the beach here. See so you can tell it moves along pretty quick. Let me get it going. Excellent. 
Thought it would pop in here, but you never really know. Sometimes it's down the beach. I don't really need to switch vehicles, but might as well. Sometimes you run into a situation and you're happy you have it. Send our Avenger back away. Alright, money's going up. Yeah, over $30 million now. Alright. Woohoo. So, should we try again? Test our luck here. This is the uh, money counterfeiters. Fake money turned into real money. It's always nice to see. <laughs> oh, a little more ad. There we go. Yeah. Right? Yeah, money. <laughs> Money is always a good thing. Especially in these Rockstar games. <laughs> With five million dollar ruiners and things like that. All right, look at all those bucks. Mm -hmm. So we gotta go get rid of these and turn them into real money. Good job, ladies, good job. Looking great. Yeah, all right, I'll go get rid of these. <laughs> so hopefully, no post op charts, right? Maybe I shouldn't say that, but I'll knock on wood. <laughs> no post op charts? Do you think it's going to be Dodo seaplanes? Do you think we're going to get the same thing we just got? Or do you think we're going to be lucky enough to have a single truck? That'd be really nice. A single truck? Yep, yep, yep. Sell stock. The far location? 588000 Because it's a double money event. Just a. Remind any newbies watching, it's usually not that much, but it's still usually a good amount. Counterfeit we cash. Okay. Here we are. It's a boat drop. Products loaded right. and waiting. Uh, they'll pay more for it if you get it to them quick, so get on over to the dock. Now, what would they want counterfeit cash for in a hurry? <laughs> you know, cocaine, meth, uh, weed, I could even understand, you know, but counterfeit cash in a hurry? What would be the hurry? <laughs> what could you possibly need the counterfeit cash for? Now, nah. being that you're buying it, so you've already got some money. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. I guess we shouldn't worry about that. We're just the seller. They're the buyer. They can have it. We'll take the money. That's all that matters to us. <laughs> so we're off to do a boat mission. Mm -hmm. oh, one moment. Oh, sorry about that. Little clear my throat there. A little cough. So it is uh, a three boat mission, and uh, we've done these before many times. We'll do another one. And I don't mind the boat missions, they're pretty good. Um, the one boat mission can be a little, you have to be a little careful with it, and that's the one that goes through the river. And I think it might even be the one that we're on the way to. Unfortunately, we'll see. I can check on the map, but we'll find out soon enough. I think it is, though. But yeah, there's one that's on this lake here, and it goes up the river in between the, the mountains and the canyon, kind of areas, and it can be, uh, it's not hard, but you have to be a bit careful that you don't beach the, uh, the uh, boats too easily. But otherwise, there's there's boat cell missions that show up on the coastlines over there and over there, all along the uh, east east uh, coast of, the, uh, of San Andreas, and along the west coast, and on, and on the north, and all of them are generally pretty easy. I find they're quick and easy, and I don't mind them at all the boat missions. This one's the only one that you got to be careful for, I found. Well, you have to be careful in all of them, but this one especially, <laughs> as far as beaching goes. Yeah, return vehicle, and which one? This one's kind of close to the shore, so mm, this one looks like it's in the most danger to me of beaching while we're away, so let's go. Alright, so kind of good that we got the Western Bagger mission earlier because uh, the boats are just like the Western Baggers in a sense. You want to lean back. So I'm leaning back on that, and that's how I get extra speed. Watch out for any obstacles and any uh, rocks or anything like that, of course. But the boat actually goes much faster when you lean back. And there's no waves at the moment, which is kind of nice. But if there is waves, sometimes it's against you and there's not much you can do about that. 
But sometimes you can kind of go with the waves and you'd kind of ride the crest of the wave. Oh, there's the marquee. The big sailboat there, the marquee. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Let's not do that. <laughs> sometimes I think about buying a marquee. A lot of people buy the marquee. It's like the rich man's yacht. It's kind of like uh, Michael's yacht from single player. But uh, in many ways you don't need to. There is a couple spots like that dock back there where it pretty much always spawns. And there's another spot on the west coast too where, where they pretty much always spawn. So Some people think if you like that boat you can just pick it up there for free whenever you want to take it out. Alright, so into the river. Into the danger zone. <laughs> Alright, here we go, dropping. As you guys can see, we lose power. That's not me. That happens automatically when you do the, the boat cells, so watch out for that. You know, if you're aiming at the beach and then you lose power, you might not be able to turn in time. So you kind of want to watch out for... Make sure you're kind of angled a certain direction that you like before you get into the yellow circle. Or just be aware that you're going to lose power for a second. Yeah, don't be afraid to let off the gas away sometimes. And sometimes hold it down in your best hopes of staying in the water or getting back into it. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Now your all-wheel brake, your J-brake, um, in a car, unless you've changed your options and things like that, is usually the sharp turn in a boat. So whatever button it is on your, on your controller to do a uh, all-wheel brake, to kind of sliding brake on your car. That's the one that you use for your boat to do sharp turns. So you want to remember that too for those of you that haven't boated or in a while or I've never done it. So this is my normal turning and it's kind of slow. And the moment I hold down the all-wheel brake I can just start turning that way. And that's a slow turn because I'm at high speed. So that's how you do uh, uh, quick maneuvers with the boat. Second last drop for this boat. And I angled along so I didn't have to worry about anything. But I lost power there. And now, let's see, vehicle. Let's call in uh, the Pyro. Now sometimes I'd actually call in the Avenger too. My other plane that we just had. And then whichever one's closest will be the one I'll get. That's one thing I find is handy about the Avenger and the personal aircraft is you can just use them across the map and it kind of gives you a double chance of getting a vehicle closer. So, as many of you guys know, many of the times they make you run so far away, so having two chances kind of helps. Many times it doesn't, it doesn't work at all, though. Many times you're still running or stealing a vehicle to get to somewhere. Or regretting not having an oppressor. Like <laughs> But even the oppressor uh, doesn't necessarily spawn on the hillsides and stuff as much as uh, it should. It would be nice if they made it better for, like, overhauled that so that they spawned a lot more easier. Like more stuff did, regardless of uh, being on the road or not. Yeah. I think if I call my car in here, why not have it appear on the beach? No, actually, I think a lot of beaches it does work, but uh, a lot it doesn't. Love my pirate. Now, when you're flying along, it's good to remember that uh, you go faster at higher altitudes. So, when you get way up there, I gotta find, I gotta remember what, what level it is. It's 2,000 feet or 5,000 feet. When you get to a certain level, you'll see the map start moving along really fast. And that's when you're at that high altitude speeds kind of the way the game, uh, it's a lie, but it kind of tricks you into, you know, like real life, you know, the higher you go, the faster it goes. But in this game, it's not quite like that, but it kind of mimics it by doing that. 
came in at the wrong angle. <laughs> Usually I come in at that uh, at better, better angle than that, but not this time. It's okay, we'll make it. Oh, perfect. Any landing you can walk away from. <laughs> Return vehicle to storage. I think I had that right. There we go. Might, have, might not have had that right. Uh, I don't know. We'll take this one. All right. Dingy away. Yeah. Now, I didn't bother, um, just to finish up my altitude thing, I didn't um, bother flying too high um, with the pyro just now because we were just over here. So I didn't have to fly very far away. Some other times, in some missions, you, you end up flying farther than that. And sometimes I might fly uh, higher first and then across to my destination. All depends on how far away it is. Now, another good thing about these boat missions, there's the marquee again, is that... Um, uh, they're always the same spots, so you don't have to worry about it changing on you. So, all three boats have the same same uh, drop, spo drop spots. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. And there is a delivery bonus, but I never really pay much attention to that. It's not really much of a worry. You know, 6,000 and sometimes there, I think they're 3,000. But that's uh, actually, I think the three thousand might be double double money right now, so that's probably why it's six thousand. But for selling a simple car, a you know, used cheap car off the street, you get usually more than that, so it's not really any money to worry about. But hey, if you can get the bonuses, why not, right? It all adds up over a, a year of gameplay. <laughs> but it's not much to really worry about. So if you go slow and lose all your bonus, I really wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, my least favorite boat one going through here. And yet, I get it a lot. I <laughs> wonder sometimes if that's why I get it. It's because it's the one I don't want. <laughs> but I try not to complain. I can do it. And it's not for the post op trucks. So. Like some waves are starting to form. So we'll ride the crest of the wave right along there. And sometimes you can get an extra little speed boost doing that. I called in my plane, so that way I'll be hopefully spawning nearby over there again. And uh, yeah, I don't have to wait for it because it's already called in before I even got to the last drop. So the more you practice with that kind of stuff, the more you want to kind of anticipate what you're going to need, and it helps to call it in ahead of time. Because sometimes you're you're passing by a better spot to spawn it. And then if you wait until you're done, you're in a worse spot to spawn it. You know, you're over there and now it won't spawn in the same spot. But when I was passing by over here, it puts it just where I like over here. That takes a little bit of practice and getting used to where they, where the aircraft spawn in, or where the Avenger shows up, or where your, uh, your regular vehicles like your Oppressor bike will show up. So you get the hang of when to call it in and where, when you're passing by what uh, land that it'll work to get you back faster. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on, Gyro. 
up, up, and away. <laughs> Alright guys, so I hope you guys are keeping well. I have been. It's been rough lately. Uh, I kind of slowed down a little bit, and I'm hoping to pick it up and uh, go even faster. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, rough, but don't take it the wrong way. It's been actually kind of good. Just uh, busy, and lots of stuff happening that was, I guess you could say, out of my control. So. But that's all right. That's all right. So now we move on with some other stuff. I've got some cars on a list of stuff I want to get still. Some more laid back grinding. Mm -hmm. Some other fun stuff too. Maybe we'll do a day of air, air patrol and live as well. And other stuff, Red Dead, Minecraft. Hopefully some other new games too. That has not yet, has yet been released. We'll see. So I killed my engine. <laughs> yeah, I need more practice. But quite often, when I was getting good at it, you kill your engine and you just kind of bring it to life just in time to break you. To break, you know, because you have no brake with the engine killed. But uh, if you time it right, you're coming in, you kind of just uh, kill your engine and you kind of flop to the ground. You know, you're uh, kind of slowly flopping down. And that's when you uh, kick in the engine at the last moment and brake. If you try it out, it, it becomes, uh, it helps a lot when you time it right. Alright, away we go. Boat number three. Counterfeit cash in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys are keeping well. I have been doing alright. And uh, yeah, I think uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, our Amer American friends out there would be all celebrating um, uh, Thanksgiving. Turkey Day. Everybody loves Turkey Day. If you're somewhere in the world and you don't have Turkey Day, you should find a way to have Turkey Day. <laughs> it's a good day. And it doesn't even have to be turkey. Lots of people love ham. Lots of people love ham. I always love big feasts like that. Yep. And yes, some people wonder off and on. Yeah, I'm Canadian. But I'm uh, South Canadian. I'm Eastern Canadian. And I've spent a lot of time in a lot of different places. So... Uh, yeah, South Ontario, so that actually means where I am in South Ontario is kind of like a fork, it, or not a fork, but a little point, um, kind of like Florida. Florida sticks out, you know. Ontario sticks down, if you look it up on Google or whatnot, and I always tell people that I'm actually surrounded by Americans in every direction except north, because <laughs> you know? a lot of Americans are surprised to hear that. They always assume that Canadians are out, but for me, where I am, if I go east, west, south, it's Americans right away, pretty much. The only way is uh, north, where there's no Americans. <laughs> well, I suppose there's still Americans. Yeah. America and Canada are, uh, you know, share a border, so it's uh, the world's longest and oldest undefended border. So so I've met uh, more Americans in my life than I can count. And uh, and I think most Americans that I've ran into have met more Canadians than they can count, too. Like for the ones that are living along the border or states uh, that are along that, those areas. And other areas too, like Florida. Florida probably sees tons of more Canadians than I ever do, actually. <laughs> Florida's uh, probably like half Canadian seniors. <laughs> it's, it's where we ship all our all our Canadians once they get to a certain age. <laughs> yeah. Not all of them. A lot. <laughs> yeah. But who doesn't like Florida? It's a very interesting place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I might have had a point to that, but I think I lost it. Oh, yeah, that uh, Canada has Thanksgiving, too. It's just in October, so it's just uh, like a month earlier or three, three weeks earlier. Yeah. Yeah. That's about the only real difference, I guess. Yeah. That I'm aware of. Yeah. To me, any excuse to have a good feast is a great excuse. <laughs> And Thanksgiving is is an awesome idea. Good reason. It's not even an excuse. It's a good reason. Be thankful. That's a great reason to have a feast. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. What else? Mm, what else? Mention other game titles. I've got Stardew Valley. I've been meaning to play that too. I know a lot of people might wonder Stardew Valley, really, if you look it up. But but uh, way back in the day, I played Harvest Moon. I, I can't remember how or why, but uh, like a lot of people, it was just kind of one of those things that ended up in my hands, and it was a good game. <laughs> you know? It surprised you. It was a farming game, but somehow it got your attention. 
It was like a farming RPG kind of thing. It's hard to explain. But it worked out really well. And then years and years later, there was nothing to replace it. And then along came Stardew Valley. So a lot of people kind of like it. Uh, vehicles. Uh-oh. I kind of got that messed up now. Pyro. And now... Expand. I was going to hit the beach, but I should probably wait, because my pyro might not spawn in the same spot. Yep, yeah, good. It, did. it might have sent it further down the beach, and then I just boat over there instead. Ooh, done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Successful sale. So at the end there, I, I forgot to put away my vehicle, so I had to call in the uh, gargoyle, the, the, uh, my bike, through the MC menu, just so that then I can call in a special vehicle. Thanks. No hangar today. Yeah, and then I could call in my, uh, my special vehicle, the special personal aircraft. Let's see. Hmm. Well, that's that was two down. And we've done our bunker two, and a quick uh, nightclub cell too. So that's good. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we'll do our weed cell. See how that is. Meth would be the other big one, but not sure if my meth is ready yet or not. It might be. Not sure. Yeah, but it's a lot easier to land my pyro <laughs> at my meth my meth lab than it is my weed farm back there. So I guess we're gonna go check in on the meth lab. And we'll come back to the weed farm with a helicopter afterwards. After we do this one. Assuming it's ready. I think it's ready. killed my engine and then restarted it. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I should back it up. Back it up. There we go. That should do. Try and keep clear of any uh, potential cell vehicles that can appear along here. Not sure what happens if I just don't get that mission or if it if it destroys my aircraft. I've had different things happen and it doesn't tell you why, so I just kind of keep them out of the way just in case. Yep, they are ready to go. Excellent. All right, good work, guys. Good work. Get you back in business in no time. <laughs> I think this is probably going out to Bling County. <laughs> ah, bills. Paid your business staff and utility charges totaling 30000 for the day. Ah, they get me sometimes. I try to avoid those bills wherever possible. <laughs> uh, that's 30000 for all these guys' staff and all the other businesses. Well, yeah, so I think we've got uh, our meth to do still and the weed farm to do still. And uh, maybe we'll do a CEO car and a couple other things. And uh, yeah, some laid back grinding. All right. So I think that this is uh, this is the end of our part one for episode 307 of our laid back grinding. And then I'm just going to continue on with part two. So I'll see you guys back in a moment. But, uh, but it's good to break it up here and there. So <laughs> otherwise it becomes really big and it takes a long time to upload. And it's YouTube's fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> All right, everybody, well, I'll see you back here in just a moment, and then we're going to continue on. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks for being here. 
Sounds like he's getting that squeaky clean. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good, you put your back into it. Don't worry. Get a good sleep tonight. Yeah. You can pay well. You know it's worth it. All right. <laughs> I treat you well. <laughs> See you guys back in a minute.